Welcome to CMG's next installment in our TechBite series. Today's topic is the CMG Patrol plugin. Today we'll be covering an overview of the plugin and discuss three main functions. Exporting a CMG data file from the Patrol interface, importing CMG simulation results back into Patrol, and simulating a black oil model from the Patrol interface powered by CMG's world-class black oil and unconventional simulator, IMEX. Conventional methods for transferring data across the platforms has largely relied on an intermediate file format such as Rescue. This requires multiple steps on both the geomodeling side to select and export the data, and also the reservoir engineering side to import and map information to the dynamic model. This leads to duplication of effort and potential user frustration when incomplete or extra data that is not required for the dynamic simulation is present. There is also potential for data corruption during conversion process or during the file transfer across the environments, leading to varying results on import or export. CMG recognizes these challenges and has developed the CMG Patrol plugin to simplify the process. The plugin allows for ease of data transfer by plugging directly into Patrol without the need for a third party file format. CMG simulation results can be loaded directly into Patrol, and this facilitates less time spent on miscommunication than data transfer enabling reservoir engineers and geoscientists to compare results in a familiar environment. Now that we have an overview of the plugin and motivation, let's explore the first function, exporting a CMG data file. Once the CMG Patrol plugin is installed within Patrol, we can now leverage some of the functionality to export information into a CMG data file. Specifically, we can export grid information, static property arrays, and well information. In the project I currently have loaded, we have a few models in this project. So let's navigate to the one we want to export. In this case, I'll choose SimGrid 2012 and find the grid. Before we export, why don't we have a quick view of what this model looks like in 3D. Expand on properties, and you'll see we have a host of properties available to us. And I'll just look at porosity. So here's a property distribution in 3D and the grid information. Let's also look at some available wells associated with this grid. So I'll go to the input section, expand on wells, and I'll turn on my sea wells. So you can see there's some wells in the background or attached to this grid. So let's go ahead now and export this to a CMG format. Back in the model section, I will navigate back to my grid. I will right click, choose export object, navigate to the location where I want to save this model. And as long as we have the Betrayal plugin installed properly, you should now have an option for CMG dataset under the Save As type. And let's name, give this a relevant name. I'll just call this Demo and hit Save. And a new window will pop up to allow us to make selections on the property you want to export along with our grid information. In this model, there's quite a few properties available. You can see we have 927 available. Of course, we may not want to select all properties for export, so we can do that in this window. You have the ability to select all, or deselect, or select all the properties. In this case, I'll only select a few, so I'll deselect them all, and now choose net to gross, porosity, and permeability in all three directions. We also try and map the available properties in the Geo model to the available CMG property. In this case, we'll automatically pick up the correct for porosity and permeability net to gross. And if there's an unrecognized property that doesn't have a CMG equivalent, we'll put it under directly put in a custom property. But of course, as a user, you have the ability to change that selection. So we've selected five properties for export. Let's move on to the well section. And we'll also select our C wells for export, okay? which are already pre-selected for me. And I'll open this directly in Builder as we export. So I'll choose Open in CMG Builder and choose Export. So in a few seconds, that data will be exported and Builder will appear in the background. So let's expand Builder. So now we can see the model that was exported directly in Builder. We have the available properties we exported, net to grows, permeability in all three directions, and porosity. And let's just take a quick peek at this model in 3D. And we can see that along with the grid and the property distributions, we also have the associated wells that we chose for export. Now I'm all set to go. And now I can complete my model by filling out the dynamic information for a CMG simulation. Now that we understand how to export information into a CMG format, 
Let's look at how we can import simulation results into the Portrell interface. I loaded a model in CMD's post-processor results, which allows us to analyze the outputs coming from the simulation file. Here, I'm currently looking at oil saturation at, st at the start time, and of course we can play this over time to see how things change as these wells produce. However, we want to get some of this information into the Petrel environment. So let's move over to Petrel to take a look at how that can be done. Within the Petrel interface, I have a blank project. To import our simulation results, find the model section, right click on the white space and choose import file. As long as you have the plugin installed, you will see a file type for CMG simulation and you'll nav navigate to the file that you want to import. A dialog will appear with all the selections available within that file to import. So let's bring over a few properties such as pressure and we have the available time steps. So let me choose a few times here. I'll bring over my saturations such as gas, oil, or water. And let's look at the end dates and bring those over. And we get a list of all the available properties and their associated time steps. We also can bring over well information. So the next tab over is wells. And you can select them all or select any ones you'd like to see. In this case, I'll select them all and just select import. So once you import it in the model section, you can expand on the model you just imported, expand on grid and go to our property sections and now we have a folder created for all the available time sets for each property so in the gas saturation you see all the dates which were imported similar story for oil saturation and the other available properties so let's select oil saturation at the last date and we can see our model in three dimensions of course we are also brought in well information so in the input section if i expand on wells expand on the model and I can turn on or off any of the wells we just imported. This can be done for any SR3 coming out of any of CMG simulators and they can import and view the model in the Petrol interface. Let's move on to our last section, simulating an IMAX file out of the Petrel interface. I have a project currently loaded in Petrel. And now I want to simulate an IMAX dataset. So I have some predefined cases, so I'll move to the simulation tab, hit define case. I have some pre-built cases, so I'll just build one off of that. I'll choose an existing case, create new, type in a name, I'll call this IMAX demo. And we'll change the simulator type to CMG IMAX. Now, all the sections are follow the same workflow you would for any other Petrel RE simulation. So you can change or add in any of your inputs. And now we have two additional tabs for IMAX, which allows you to set some basic information for IMAX settings, such as where it's run. We can submit locally or to a scheduler if you have those set up. You can choose the IMAX version and so forth. And the second tab called Progress will allow you to see the progress of the simulation as we run it. So let's run a model out of the interface. First, we'll click Run. Within this interface, we can see the simulation starts. We also get some messages at the bottom to let us know the current status of our model. Because I chose to run this local, this also links with CMG's launcher, so we can see the progress in launcher itself. Moving over to launcher, we can see that the status updates to show that the simulation is running and we have the available output files from the simulator. Similar to any simulation that's being run through Launcher, you have the ability to view the log file and get an update on the progress of the simulation. This progress can also be reflected back in the Petrel interface under the Progress tab. Once the simulation is complete, we'll be able to refresh and view that our simulation has been finished and the status will take a few seconds to update to show complete as well. Moving back to CMD's launcher, we can see the status has been reflected in the status and now we can view the simulation output in results. In results, we can take a deeper dive into the simulation output. We can view the model in 3D and of course, see how things progress over time.
That concludes this installment of CMG Tech Bytes for the Patrol plugin, covering three functions, export, import, and simulate. If you have any further questions, feel free to contact our support channel at support at cmgl.ca. Thank you very much for listening, and we'll see you next time.